Alabama football fans knew 1978 was going to be a good one. Coach Paul Bear Bryant was in full stride, entering his 21st season in Tuscaloosa. He had a great running back in Tony Nathan, who'd already racked up 1,200 yards in his career. Jeff Rutledge was back for his senior season, passing for 1,500 yards the year before. And oh, did Bryant have a salty defense, led by Barry Krause. Bama had given up less than 13 points a game in 1977. So Tide fans weren't surprised at all by Bama's 10-1 regular season record and their second place ranking in the polls. And they were ready to take on Joe Paterno's number one Penn State at the Superdome in New Orleans. Bryant and Paterno, Bama and Penn State, the battle for a national championship, the 1979 Sugar Bowl, one of Bama's greatest games. Sports Network and the Paul W. Bryant Museum present Bama's Greatest Games. This may be the most famous play in Alabama football history, the goal line stand in the 1979 Sugar Bowl against Penn State. Hi, I'm Tom Roberts and welcome to Bama's Greatest Games. Let's go to the Superdome in New Orleans for the goal line stand and so very much more in this classic confrontation between the Crimson Tide and the Nittany Lions of Penn State. Almost 77,000 fans set to cheer the battle for the national championship. Marty Lyons, Tony Nathan, Jeff Rutledge call the toss. Bama wins and we'll get the ball first. Penn State's Matt Barr kicks it off. Major Ogilvy takes it at the goal line and heads out to the 20. Let's check Bama's starting backfield. Jeff Rutledge is your quarterback. Tony Nathan at halfback. Ogilvy at the other running back post. Steve Whitman is your fullback. And Bruce Bolton at the split end. First play, vintage Bama, the toss to Nathan at left end. Whitman on the block. The gain is four yards. Now let's check the Crimsons up front. Buddy Adelette at left tackle. Mike Brock at left guard. Dwight Stevenson, the All-American at center. Vince Booth at right guard. Jim Bunch at right tackle. And the tight end is Rick Neal. Second down, Rutledge goes with Nathan again. This time for three to the 27, but Tony bangs his hip and has to leave the game. Third down, Whitman gets the call. Four yards and the first down at the 31. Rutledge brings him to the line. And again, it's the big fullback Whitman, but he stopped for just a yard. Rutledge goes to the air for the first time. Bruce Clark puts the heavy rush on. Jeff can't hit his target. Nathan's replacement, Lou Eichner. On third down, though, the combination does work. Rutledge to Eichner. Only seven on the play. That's short of the first down. For the first time, Woody Humphrey on the punt, and he starts a great day with a 48-yarder to the Penn State 13. The Nittany Lions get a holding penalty and they're deep in a hole at their own seven. Chuck Fusina goes with Mike Gooman and gets two up the middle. Next it's Matt Suey at right end, seven yards before Murray Legg stops him. On third down, Fusina rolls out to pass, he's forced to run. Here's Wayne Hamilton knocking the ball loose, but Gooman's on the spot for the recovery. Still it's fourth down, and Scott Fitzke has to kick it away to Ogilvy. Now Bama has the ball at its own 44 as Nathan gets ready to come back in. The pitch to Ogilvy loses two. Rutledge goes with the screen now. Coming right. Pitching back left to Whitman behind good blocks from Brock and Adelette. Steve carries it 11 yards to the Penn State 47. Now Nathan's back on the field. He takes the pitch. Goes right for eight yards. That's enough for the first down. 
Rutledge keeps it this time on the right side and gets three. Coach Bryant looking on from the Lions 36. Ogilvy up the middle for three. Bruce Clark makes the stop. On third down, Rutledge back. He's rushed by Larry Kuban. Still, Jeff gets it away to Whitman, but it goes right through his hand. So on fourth down, Alan McElroy comes in for a 51-yard attempt. It's short and wide to the right. Bama stopped on its first threat. Penn State takes over at its own 33. Fusina strikes quickly. Going to Bob Bassett. He gains 18 before Ricky Gilliland trips him up. At the Bama 49, handoff to Suey. Gilliland stops him quickly, only a yard. Penn State's turned it over only 20 times all year, but that number goes up by one on this play. Fusina picked off by Murray Lag at the Bama 34. We're halfway through the first quarter now. Rutledge back to pass again. Intended for Neal. It goes incomplete. On second down, back to the ground. Ogilvy gobbles up nine tough yards to the 43. Third and one. Whitman hits right tackle. Fights for 14 yards. Big Steve still battling when Penn State stops him at the Lions 43. A clipping penalty on the next play puts it back at the 49. And Ogilvy finds open turf on the right side. Major gains 11. Rutledge pitches it to Ogilvy again. This time Lance Bell hits Major in the backfield. A loss of four. Third down, Whitman gets that back, but it's not enough. The Tide has to punt again. Five yards delay of game. Humphrey pops it, though, 43 yards into the end zone. After a procedure penalty, Nittany Lions start at the 15 and don't get much further. Cross stops Suey after three yards. Usina decides to go long, but he overthrows Fitzke, and that brings up third down. Now Bama's defense really goes after the Penn State quarterback. Chased right, Byron Bragg holds him to a one-yard gain. Fitzke's back to punt. He kicks it away to Ogilvy. Now Major tries, but winds up losing the yard to the Bama 42. Less than two minutes left in the quarter. Nathan takes the pitch from Rutledge. Tony's off on the longest play of the game so far. He's getting 16 yards to the Penn State 42. Now it's Whitman who picks up four yards to the 38. But the drive stalls as Rutledge is dropped by Fred Ragucci for a loss of four. Next. A mix-up on the snap. Rutledge has to fall on it. The play loses three to the 42. Also ends the first quarter. The Sugar Bowl scoreless in a defensive struggle between the Tide and the Nittany Lions. The second quarter starts with Humphrey back to punt for the third time in the game. And what a beauty he gets away. It goes out of bounds inside the Penn State four-yard line. The first quarter stats show you just how dominant Bama's been. 99 yards to only 36 for the Lions. And look at the time of possession. Just 424 for Penn State, 1036 for the tie. Now the Lions are in a hole. Booker Moore is stopped for four by Gilliland. You've seen it to Moore again. This time Wayne Hamilton bouncing him back to the five. Replay shows Marty Lyons helps Hamilton on the play. And it brings up third down and 11 to go. The Lions go up top. Fusina out of the end zone to Bob Torrey. But Braggs and Hamilton stop him short of the first down at the 13. The kicking battle continues. Pitsky punts it away. A fair catch by Ogilvy at the Bama 48. Coach Bryant decides to go with Stephen Sheely at quarterback. Just as he's hit, he pitches it to Ogilvy, who loses two. Then Sheely runs right. 
Unfortunately, Clark greets him, dropping the Dothan Jr. for a six-yard loss. So Rutledge comes back in, and he decides to go with a draw to Billy Jackson, who manages only five on third down. Let's see if Humphrey can back him up again. He kicks it high and deep. Suey tries, but gets no further than the 12-yard line. On first down, Yusina gambles. Back to pass, then running for his life. He finally passes it upfield. It's tipped and almost picked off by Murray Leg. Second down, Penn State tries the draw. McGriff's there to stop Suey for five yards. Then more great defensive work. You see the back to pass. Krauss leads the chase. Hamilton sacks him a 14-yard loss on the play. Here comes Fitzky's fourth punt. Ogilvy fair catches it to give Bama a great field position at the Lions 41. On first down, Major up the middle. Four yards to the 37. Rutledge goes with a pitch to Ogilvy to the left and four more yards for the major. On third down, though, Clark makes his eighth tackle of the day, dumping the draw and Jackson for a four-yard loss. This is the fifth series in a row. It's been three downs and out. Humphrey kicks. Bama tries to down it at the goal line. Touchback. Penn State's got it at the 20. Now the Lions actually move it for a change. Gooman gets five on the left side. Then it's Suey right up the middle for 10. Leg stops him at the 35. Now a bigger chunk of yardage. You see it? It's Gooman on the screen. 32 yards the play goes. It's all back though, as Penn State's hit with a five yard illegal motion penalty. From the 30, Suey gets five on the draw. Thomas Boyd on the stop. The short drive stops here, though, thanks to Bama. Yusina wants to throw. Boyd and Bragg's there to sack him. He fumbles, and Bama almost gets it. Romano recovers for the Lions, but Penn State loses 21. On third down, Yusina pitches it to Gooman, but Bragg's is there again, along with Krauss and Boyd, just one yard on the play. Time for our 10th punt of the game, midway the second quarter. Fitzky boots it, 38. Ogilvy the fair catch at the tide, 47. Now it's Bama's turn to move. Rutledge the first pass this quarter. Complete to Bolton, 16 yards in all to the Lion, 37. Next, Jeff moves right and fires the screen back left to Whitman. With Brock and Adelaide out front, Whitman rambles for 16 yards. Bama's at the Penn State 21. Whitman again. He picks up three. So the tide's close at the Penn State 18, but suddenly this drive is over. Thanks to Rich Malott. He picks off this Rutledge pass at the eight-yard line. Looks like Malott's going to go all the way. Cuts to the outside and comes to the near sideline. One tackler fails. Finally, it's Ogilvy who chases him down 55 yards later at the Bama 37. Not to worry, though. The Bama defense is there. No gain on a rushing play. Fusina wants to go to the end zone, but there's Don McNeil. He wants nothing of it. He's there to break up the catch. Now watch Braggs. He's going to get his second sack of the quarter. Montgomery sophomore drops Fusina back at the Penn State 48. A Fitzky punt goes 52 yards into the end zone. And with just 1.11 to go, the tide's ready to roll. Ogilvy starts it with three up the middle, then Rutledge goes with his screen again, this time to Nathan, and Tony gets five yards. On third down, Whitten batters the Lions for five yards and a first down at the 33. From that point, Nathan takes care of business. Tony races away from the Lions for 30 yards, and Bama has it at the Penn State 37 with just 21 seconds to go. After a timeout, Nathan gets it again, 
Seven big ones here to the Lions 30. Now just 15 seconds to go. Rutledge goes for it all. He finds Bolton at the goal line. Bruce hangs on just long enough, and finally the drought is over. An 80-yard drive in six plays in just over a minute. McElroy adds the extra point. Bama's on top, 7 and nothing. That's the way the first half ends. Bama dominating the Lions, holding them to minus 7 on the ground, only 21 yards in all. At halftime, the packed house at the Superdome knew that this was a very special football game. The defenses certainly knew it, and so did the putters. Humphrey and Fitzke have already kicked it a total of 11 times. Well, there's still more to come. More punts, more defense, and of course, the classic goal line stand. Let's go back to New Orleans in the second half of Bama and Penn State in the 79 Sugar Bowl. Penn State had the ball only 12 minutes in the first half, but they're going to get it first in the third quarter. McElroy kicks it into the end zone, so the Lions start at their own 20. Gooman gets it on first down, gets four yards before going out of bounds. Let's check the strong Bama defense. Lane Hamilton's at left end. Marty Lyons at left tackle. Warren Lyles is the nose guard. Byron Braggs at right tackle. And Gary De Niro at right end. It's Hamilton who nails Gooman on this play only a yard. Now the rest of the defense, Barry Krause at linebacker, along with Ricky Gilliland. Don McNeil leads the secondary, along with Alan Crumley, Murray Legg, and Jim Bob Harris, who's playing for the injured Tucker. The secondary gets the test. Fusina sets up the screen to Suey, but Legg is right on the spot. Penn State can't get the first down. Pitsky punts it away very high, but not very long. It goes out of bounds at the Bama 44. Coach Bryant sends in a gadget play. Folks spread all over the field. A five-yard penalty sets him back to the third. Again, the spread. Rutledge fakes, tries to go downfield. Thankfully, Penn State halfback Carl McCoy drops it. Second and 15, nifty running from Nathan, scooting away for 11 yards to midfield. On third down, Rutledge tries to find Bolton again. It's incomplete in Penn State territory. Humphrey, who averaged 42 in the first half, punched this one into the end zone. And the Lions get it back, but not for long. Fusina drops back with great protection and fires a perfect strike. Right into the hands of Bama's Jim Bob Harris. He takes it at the 40 and brings it all the way back to the Lions 18. Coach Bryant saw a clipping penalty set the tide back to the 33. From there, Nathan got only one at the middle. Penn State gave Bama five on an offside penalty. Nathan got two more. At this point, Nathan has 82 yards rushing. The Lions minus two. Now it's Whitman who's trying to get it into the end zone. Steve for four at right tackle. Then the Birmingham junior tries the left side and comes up with two to the 19. Penn State's not undefeated for nothing though, especially their defense. Millot shoots the gap to hit Rutledge in the backfield. Now third and 10, Rutledge rolls right, looks downfield, gets it to Eichner, but the Lions stop him for a loss of two. So here's McElroy again, closer this time, 40 yards out. Same result as the first, though. It's off to the right, no good. Still, it's Alabama seven, Penn State nothing, with nine minutes to go in the third quarter. Penn State with the football now. Fusina back to pass, tries to go way downfield. Fitzky's there, but so is Crumley. The throw is short. It's a long incompletion. Now the pitch to Moore. He heads left and right into Krause. The play's good for seven yards. 
Husina tries the air one more time, hitting Bassett, who's hit by Crumley, but Bassett hangs on for 10. Goodman tries the middle, gets five. Lyons gets the tackle. After another five-yard penalty, Penn State tries again. Husina, this time hitting Irv Hankey for five. Rich Wingo on the stop of Bama. On third and five, the Tide's coming after Fusina. Randy Scott hits him as he throws. It's incomplete, and Bama's held again. Seventh time, Fitzke punts it for Penn State. This time out of bounds at the Bama 29. Jackson tries in the middle, gets only one. Rutledge pitches it to Ogilvy, but line defenders are there for a one-yard loss. Penn State turns down the penalty. Third and ten. Rutledge wants to go to Tim Clark, but Pete Harris shows why he leads the nation in interceptions. Across the field, he came to pick this one off. Penn State tries a couple of running plays, then Fusina figures out the tied defense for a long gainer, 25 yards before McNeil knocks him down. First real threat of the ball game for Penn State. Inside the Bama 20. Gooman gets two up the middle. And now Paterno sees his Lions get on the board. Yusina Dafitsky. He gets one foot right in the back of the end zone. A 17-yard touchdown. 48-yard drive and five plays. Barr adds the extra point. We're tied at seven with 4.25 to go in the third quarter. After Barr kicks off into the end zone, Bama has it at its own 20. Whitman manages four yards at right guard. But now momentum is with Penn State. Jeff Rutledge, meet Matt Millen. It's a loss of six. On third down, the pitch to Nathan. Tony can't get around the corner, though. The play makes only one. And up he's on to kick it away. Does he ever? 51 yards, he sails it. Suey gets only two on the return. Eichner on the stop. Now things start to turn back toward Bama. Yusina overthrows Fitzky. Torrey tries the middle. McGriff and Bragg's there to stack him up. So, Pusina has to pass again. Legs blitzing, though, and Murray chases him down. The sack, a loss of 11. The kicking game usually determines the outcome, and this one's no different. Look at Eichner take the punt at his own 27-yard line. He heads to the wall of blockers on the near sidelines, and he's off to the races. 62 yards later, Bradley stops him at the Penn State 11. The motion penalty puts Bama back at the 16, and Rutledge can only get one on the option right. From the 15, Jeff goes back to the right side. This time the pitch to Nathan behind Ogilvy and Whitman. Tony goes inside the 10, down to the eight yard line. Now Rutledge avoids Millen, pitches it to Ogilvy. The major puts Bama back on top. Took the side, three plays and 21 seconds to cover 11 yards. McElroy kicks the extra point, and the Tide has the lead at 14-7. Just seconds to go now in the quarter, and McElroy puts the kickoff into the end zone. Penn State with time to run only one play. E.J. Jr. stops more for a one-yard loss, and Bama heads to the fourth. A seven-point lead beginning to smell a national championship. Penn State with the ball as we start the fourth quarter. Fusina goes with Donovan on the reverse, but Lions and Braggs aren't fooled. No gain on the play. Again, the Bama defense comes up big. Fusina back to pass. John Morrow's there for the sack and a loss of nine. 
fourth down from the 11 and Pitsky punts it away for 36 yards. This time Eichner only gets four on the return. Dama has the ball at the Penn State 43 but a motion penalty sets it back to the 48. Nathan on the pitch right picks up three. Coach Bryant sees his offense get another five yard step up and then Jackson tries the middle he gets only two. On third and 15 Rutledge back to pass finds Neal open a nice catch good for eight yards but not a first down. So Humphreys on and he gets off his worst kick of the day shanks it only nine yards Penn State with the ball at the 31. On first down Suey takes it right up the middle for six yards. Now Fusina goes with a pitch to Moore. Five yards and a first down to the 42. Moore gets the call again. Five more yards for the Penn State sophomore. But Fusina goes to him once too often. Look at EJ Jr. He's blocked by Suey, but still makes the stop on Moore for a loss of three. But the Lions continue to move. The pass complete to Gooman on the right side. Harris knocks him out of bounds. Penn State's at the BAM of 47. Again, Fusina goes to the air. Over the middle to Brad Scoville. The play's good for 19 yards. Gilliland makes the stop at the BAM of 28. Time for more great Bama defense. Junior again dropping more for a loss of five. Now Fusina wants to go to the end zone. He's trying to hit Bassett, but McNeil intercepts for Bama. On the replay, you can see that it was actually Jim Bob Harris who tipped it, but McNeil grabbed it away for Bama. The Lions deny. 9-18 to go. Bama at its own 20. Nathan tries left tackle, gets four yards. It's Nathan again up the middle, but Clark holds him to only one. Third and five now. Rutledge rolls left. Pitch to Nathan never gets there. Fumble recovered by Lally at the Bama 19. And as Coach Bryant would say, we got them right where we want them. The stage is set for a great moment. Doesn't look great on first down as Suey takes it right up the middle. Lag and Harry stop him inside the 10. The Ternos men first and goal at the 8. The pitch left to Gooman. Gilliland cracks him down at the 6. Big play time now. And it looks like Penn State has it. Fusina hits Fitzky at the one. He can't get in because McNeil won't let him. On the replay, look at this hit by McNeil. Third and goal now. Bama fans howling so loud. Fusina can't call the play. Timeout for the official. Less than seven minutes to play. Back to the line of scrimmage for Penn State. Suey takes it up the middle, but Rich Wing goes there to stop him, short of the goal line. Paterno and the Lions desperately trying for their first national championship. It's fourth down, less than a yard to go, but it's Crimson defenders who are ready to paint one for the ages.
wait a minute. There's still 6.39 left to go in the game, so it's up to the offense to make some yards. Nathan gets some room. Four yards up the middle. Now it's Ogilvy for one in the tides of the six. Third down. Rutledge hands to Nathan. Tony gets only three, and it's fourth down. Humphreys in, gets off another short punt. But here's a Bama break. Penn State has 12 men on the field, and the Tide has new life. First and 10 at the 23. Great blocking up front. Nathan gets five before Millen stops him. Now Rutledge goes to Ogilvy. The major picks up five and a first down at the 34. And a pitch to the right again. Nathan manages five more. On the next play, that's offset by a procedure penalty. Coach Bryant then sees Rutledge take it to the left, but Ruben's there to stop him for no gain. Now the legendary coach is really upset because of another five-yard penalty. Bama's back at the 29. Up the middle, Whitman can get six, but can't get the first down. Less than three minutes to go. Humphrey back to punt. He booms one 44 yards. Gurman takes it. Laterals to Hedinger. But Scott's there to force him out of bounds at the 21. A delay penalty sets the Lions back to the 16. On first down, Fusina goes to Fitzke. 16 yards immediately out of bounds to stop the clock. Now it's Fusina over the middle. To Gooman for five. Junior and Hamilton get the tackle. The quarterback looks downfield now for Donovan. Krause is back on the field, and Barry tips the ball away. No completion here. The undefeated Lions need a first down. And Fusina tries the screen. Gooman gets the six yards he wants. First and 10, Penn State at the 43. Next play, same combination. Fusina to Gooman. This time it works for 14 yards. Crumley on the tackle, but the Lions are at the Bama 43. Paterno's quarterback goes short now to Scoville for two. Out of bounds, a minute 32 to go. Bama defenders put the pressure on Fusina. He throws in a hurry, and it's short to bring up third down. A minute 28 left. Paterno decides to go long. Fusina throwing for Scoble at the goal line. Leg covering. It's overthrown and incomplete. So fourth down now. A minute 22 to play. Bryant looking on. Fusina going to the air again. He looks for Bassett, but legs there again. Murray knocks it away, and Bama stops the Lions one more time. 116 to a national championship. The offense wants yards. Nathan breaks out for eight. Penn State stops the clock with a timeout. Then the Lions stop Ogilvy for a gain of only one. After the final Lion timeout, Nathan can't get anything. Mellon makes his 10th tackle. Bama lets the clock roll down to 19 seconds. Takes a delay of game. Then Humphrey kicks it away for the 10th time. His 22-yarders out of bounds at the Penn State 33. Just 12 seconds to go. One last chance. Fusina looks long, tries to hit Bassett, but here's Mike Clements to intercept. Clements runs it back 49 yards and runs Bama into the record books with its 10th national championship. The fans celebrate early, but we have one more play. Nathan takes the handoff. 
Bama takes the title, finishing 11 and one. Incredible defense, just enough offense. The victory ride for Coach Bryant, the final Bama 14, Penn State seven. Truly one of Bama's greatest games. And so it's final. Alabama has won the national championship with a classic victory over Penn State. After the game, awards were handed out. First to Coach Bryant, and then to most valuable player, Barry Krause. Coach Bryant, on behalf of your marvelous victory this evening, I am delighted to present to you the championship trophy of the Sugar Bowl, and God bless you for a marvelous effort. Thank you very much, Bob. Uh, we're tremendously proud of you. Uh, we're, I'm accepted for the team, the guys that did the playing. And I thought they played a tremendous game because uh, we had so many things to overcome. Uh, you know, the crowd noise was terrible as far as, as our offense was concerned. And uh, they had a terrific defensive line, I'll tell you. But, uh, one of the greatest victories I think we've ever had. I thought our defense, I just did they just played over their heads. I mean, they just played superhuman football. I tell you, I, I thank God for the ability he gave me. Most of our defense, man, they played hell game. And it's a great feeling just to be able to play for Coach Bryant and to be a part of Alabama. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Bama's Greatest Games. All of us at the Alabama Sports Network have enjoyed bringing it to you. And we want to dedicate this game to our friend, John Forney. The legendary voice of the Crimson Tide passed away in the summer of 1997. He loved everything that is Alabama, and we as fans loved him. We'll miss John Forney.